Hi guys, and welcome back to the Oasis, and I'm Bianca. Feels like forever since that has been said. <laughs> so, I've been gone. And it's just recently that I have been posting shorts. Just so you guys know that I'm still here, and I am still fighting, and... I'm still trying to keep to the channel the way that, you know, I planned it to go, but yeah. <laughs> so, if you go back a few videos, more than a few videos, months ago, when I initially took the break, if you're new to the channel, I often take a week to two weeks worth of a break. It's usually only like a week. I'll get an, uh, an idea and I'll just have to come back because I want to share it. And then it sparks from there. It just sparks all these other ideas. But um, I said that I needed a break. I told you guys that I was on a break or um, yeah. I told you guys I was on a break. I pre-filmed videos and I still try to post content, which is what I always do. I pre-film videos. I typically film two videos at a time when I do film. Um, so that even if something comes up, I still have content to put out for you guys on my scheduled days. I try to post um, every other day throughout the week and I try to take weekends off, but sometimes that flops or it switches or whatever the case may be. Either way, um, I was doing really good for a while there and then um, I honestly took a break because I just needed time to regroup. A lot of times when I do take a break, it's so that It's so that I can get more authentic ideas so that I don't have to follow a trend or do whatever other channels are doing. It's the one thing I didn't want to do with with this channel, with our channel, is produce content just for views. I produce content based off of what makes me feel comfortable, what you guys like, and... Just things that naturally come. I always want to show the natural sides to ASMR. There's so many, um, so many forced triggers out there that, um, we just do now. And that's what people think ASMR is. And I'm not saying it isn't, but there's so many authentic sounds that naturally happen, um, out in the world that I had years to just pile up on and come up with all these ideas and there are some that I see that are forced that I personally want to give a try and I like and I do you guys will hear my cat <laughs> she she's just crying give me just a second okay <laughs> sorry my cats are all like, yeah. <laughs> so I forgot where I was, but <laughs> I'll take breaks so I can come up with better content. And even when there is content that is, um, in my opinion, a more forced trigger, I there's some I think are really cool and I'll try those out too. But for the most part, I try to come up with my own stuff or I'll try to do something that is common my own way. Um, I also am a huge fan of giving credit. And so if I get an idea and um, from someone else, another channel, I will always give credit where credit is due. If it's not, if their name isn't in the title, then it'll be in the comment section or it'll be in the description. But I never take someone's idea and try to pose it as my own. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all trying to build up. And um, if you're going to use somebody to step on to get there, the least you could do 
is reach back and help them up with you so um yeah <laughs> that's for another day so me being gone one of the main reasons is so that I can come up with authentic content and um of my own I come up with ideas I put them on my phone I I now have a board I went out and bought a whiteboard so that I could um write out some of my ideas I have tons of stuff that I bought as well as just ideas in general that I have came up with and have plans on doing on the channel. I have a board full of stuff back back here and um yeah I just also needed a break just because if you're new again or if you just don't know because you haven't seen some of my older videos um when I started this channel I had nothing. I still have nothing but I had nothing. I did not have Wi-Fi. I didn't have a camera. I didn't have, um, I didn't initially have a ring light. Um, I didn't have a mic. I didn't have anything. I used, um, I used cheap headphones and, um, trying to find mics that worked. I would upload videos at the the laundromat <laughs> because they had Wi-Fi. I would um, I would film and film and film and have all these videos. I would use lamps and whatever I could to do a video because I kept telling myself for years I wanted to do ASMR. It was the one thing I felt connected and I felt called to do. And when you're 28 years old and you haven't figured out what you want to do with your life yet, when something sparks you, you got to at least give it the opportunity of trying it. And ASMR was just something I couldn't shake. And so I finally just gave in and gave it a try. And I did that with my daughter's little table that she sits at. And um, I bought some slime and I bought some kinetic sand and I just went for it. I later, um, I later got a cheap ring light from Walmart that broke within the first month. And I ended up getting a more durable ring light from Best Buy. And it was my baby. That recently broke over the holidays. I was so devastated <laughs> by the fact that it was broken. But um, it's still usable. Just it definitely wasn't going to be able to do the job by itself. But I have been looking for forward to getting a new ring light a more a bigger one and a more heavy duty ring light and I um I did just that <laughs> um if you do not know I am also a big photography type person like I love doing photography um I'll do a story time on that whole thing and where that went and how and the backstory of all of that and yeah I'll put that on the board to do a story time about it but it's not something I was able to do much after I had my daughter for um, just life reasons and so with everything going on in the world I wanted to do Christmas photos for my daughter I've never done the whole Santa thing go sit on Santa's lap type thing and I it's just it's harder to do with everything going on in the world right now so I did my daughter's photos at home <laughs> I will try to insert them in this video can't guarantee but I will um I'll put my Instagram up and then you guys can <laughs> can follow me on Instagram and you guys can see but um we're totally off topic here but all of this relates in a way 
the whole point is is I started this channel with nothing but the dream of being able to do something that made me happy and brought happiness to other people the idea of being able to relax people especially when I myself wasn't very relaxed um, it made me happy that's pretty much been most of my life is doing things that make other people happy this channel makes me happy but unfortunately it got to a point where there have been plenty of times where I've been discouraged um, which is just a natural reaction um, I had over a hundred videos on my channel and I had maybe I had anywhere from I had about five subscribers to my channel and I had over a hundred videos that's how dedicated I was to the channel and so every day when I see new people find the channel and they they do something as simple as hit subscribe that's them not only committing to the channel that's them committing to me and I can't begin to tell you how happy that makes me and the time I've been gone we've grown a good little bit here and I have not been looking at the channel I haven't been um, I've just been trying not to because I know that it's disappointing to you guys how I've been gone and if not it's disappointing to me because I'm so dedicated to this channel and unfortunately the place I'm at now in life I just cannot the station I am currently in life I cannot fake it I can't and uh, you guys don't deserve me to fake it or pretend to be any any kind of way just to put a video out and I would hope that the same way I want you guys to be at your best whenever you watch my videos I, I always hope for you to be happy or be content with wherever you are in life I would hope that you guys will want the same from any content creator you're watching you wouldn't want them to pretend to be a certain way just so you can benefit from their content but I know it's not always the case um I just can't fake it anymore um I also went on a weight loss journey which is another reason why I ended up being gone longer than planned I have not been happy with my body since I had my daughter not necessarily my I just knew I could be healthier not necessarily my the way my body looked it's just I knew I could be healthier than what I was I for sure got to my heaviest after having my daughter and I've always been a small girl I've always been really really petite in frame um I've I've always had a really fast metabolism and then you know getting pregnant and having carrying a child and growing a child and um, taking care of that child after they're born it, it causes all this wear and tear on your body and if you don't take care of your body then it will not take care of you and I just didn't have the time to take care of my body I'm exhausted I for the most part take care of my daughter mostly on my own strictly on my own it has been that way since she was born and um for someone who has the mental that I had before um becoming pregnant with my daughter I suffer from depression and anxiety before that and I um I took a break from um, taking anything or doing anything about that once I got pregnant because I became extremely focused on making sure that she was healthy and that I made it through my pregnancy. But even after my pregnancy, unfortunately, I suffered from really bad postpartum and my depression came back in full force. It already was coming back while I was pregnant but after my pregnancy it came back full force and it got to the point where it was completely unbearable for me to focus on anything and um, trying to uh, be a full-time parent and maintain a relationship and take care of yourself 
all at the same time and, and then figure out what you're going to do to take care of your child it all got to be too much um but even though it was too much I still kept up with it but it was as if it was just a motion that I stayed in and I couldn't get off I, I always say it's like I'm on a roller coaster that I can't get off of that is what my mental state is like and I got on this roller coaster and I just I just kept riding despite the fact that I wanted to get off so badly and that has been what my life has been like for as long as I can remember and when I was younger it was easier to ignore it and I got older and I just couldn't anymore once I got by myself I had no choice but to hear and face all those thoughts that I was ignoring and um and so back to my weight loss journey I wanted to lose um I wanted to lose weight but I also just wanted to tone my body and I got to a really good place I wasn't in a bad place necessarily when I took the break from the channel but I didn't want to get to one either so I wanted to give myself time before that happened um and so I started to work out and eat better and I did lose a good bit of weight but um holidays have never been a big thing for me they make me quite depressed <laughs> on top of the depression I already have but I was doing really good I tried to get ahead of things so that I wouldn't stress out and I wouldn't be you know I wouldn't be too overworked mentally but excuse me but I felt like I kept telling myself I was okay trying to convince myself that I was okay and so um, I kept trying to come back to the channel and I kept trying to pull myself together and the more I tried to pull myself together the more I fell apart my mom came to visit for Christmas this year and I was so excited about that my daughter was so excited she loves she loves her Gigi and um she also brought my sister and my sister came to visit and if you are new to the channel or if you have already been if you've already been here you know that I've been telling you guys I'm going to do a story time on why me and my sister don't speak but if you are new I have not spoken to my sister in years or seen her and so you can imagine how weird it was It was weird in a good way and, and, and weird in a bad way. But those feelings that I was suppressing trying to get through the holidays so that I could better regroup and get myself together after they left. They came out during the holidays. I did as best I could. And then by the time Christmas was over with and my mom left. it, I love when my mom visits but I hate when she visits because I'm the only one in Indiana. All I have is my mom and my sister. And since my sister and me didn't talk, all I had was my mom. And so when she left, whenever she comes to visit, and I feel so happy having her here. And I feel so stressed at the same time because I want her to know that I'm doing okay. So that she doesn't have to worry about me, but... Um that that didn't really quite happen. Like <laughs> I'm sure I did not convince her this time or any time because me being a mother myself, I always know when something's wrong with my daughter even when she tries to act as if she's okay. I always know when she's feeling uncomfortable or her feelings are hurt. And so, either way, whenever my mom leaves, I always feel like a part of me just begs to go with her. So, 
I did best I could to make it through the holidays and that was a fail. And then after she and my sister were gone, I was faced with the harsh reality of having to deal with some issues and emotions that I have been trying to figure out how to deal with on my own. On my own meaning, I, um, I took Zoloft before my daughter years before uh, like a year before my daughter i started taking zoloft and then i got pregnant and i didn't want to take anything um and so i got back on it when i got postpartum and i was at my highest dosage when i was going through postpartum and even after i don't think i ever came out of postpartum but like even after that i was at my highest dosage and then um, I got myself off of it, which was horrible. I had terrible brain fog and I just felt numb, which is the difference between the numbs is um, when I was on Zoloft, I felt neutral. Um, I've always been in, I always jump in and out of mood swings and um, emotions, um, which I'm going to explain something when I get to that point, but I, that's always been me. And I never put too much thought into it. I mean, I did, but I didn't. And so, and so now I'm at a point where I, I'm try. I try to deal with my emotions without the loft is the whole point. We're just going to say that. It's a fail, let me tell you. But it made me neutral when I took it. It made me feel like a zombie. I didn't feel happy. I didn't feel sad. I didn't feel anything. I was, I was a shell of me. But that felt better to me than being who I was when I didn't have it. Um... And so, this video is turning out to be so long. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to wrap it up. But, um, fast forward to now. <laughs> Why I've been gone. I'm not happy. And I cannot pretend to be happy anymore. I, I'm so used to being happy for other people or pretending to be okay and doing things that help other people and make other people feel good. And I've done that for so long that I don't know who I am. And I don't know how to shake it. And so back to the Zola comment where I said that I jump in and out of emotion so quickly. I have been um I have been diagnosed with um with uh manic depressive and anxiety disorder, but I never felt like that was it. And so now I am on a journey to be, um, to look into, um, bipolar because it's something that I've kind of always known growing up and I have other family members that made it quite obvious <laughs> that they themselves, but, um, I can't speak for all families and I'm not speaking for every you know, family such as, you know, my race, but in African American families, we don't typically talk about mental illness. Um, especially where I grew up and how I grew up, we don't talk about it. We sweep things under the rug and we act like they just didn't happen. Well, <laughs> years of doing that. Years of doing that. <laughs> I just, I, I can't pretend like I'm happy anymore. And I am in a mental crisis. I 
I don't feel like me. I don't know who me is. But I guarantee the feeling that I feel now isn't it. Nobody ever wants to talk about um, the uncomfortable parts of life. And we all post on social media and you can look one way in pictures. Or even for videos, you can post a 10 minute video and you can appear one way. Well, once that camera is off, we are just regular people. Celebrities are regular people who feel and hurt and harbor feelings just like everyone else. We all suffer from the sad reality of feeling like there are certain feelings we can't share. And I never want to burden anyone with my feelings, especially... All of you. But the hard reality is, is that I'm not okay. I can't lie to you guys and say that I know exactly when I'm going to come back. But I can tell you every day that I miss it. And that I have all these plans and things that I want to do and things I want to try and I'm trying, I'm trying so badly to do the right thing, to be better, to come back. I'm trying and I, that's all I can do right now. But that is why I've been gone. I want to make sure I'm okay when I come back. And I want to be able to tell you guys. I want to be able to look and say I'm okay. But right now I can't do that. Right now I have to focus on me and get to a point where I'm okay. And so whatever I can do for the channel, I'm trying to ease back in. Hence the shorts. And I appreciate all the love you guys are showing the shorts. Because I put real effort into them. But. What I can say. Is that despite how low I feel. Right now in life. All the things that I feel are piling up on me. No matter how much I feel like I'm drowning. Every time someone who watches my channel tells me or um, if you guys watch my channel and you've seen the guy who is featured in my channel is Patrick. He also comments. He, every time he tells me that someone else chose to subscribe to the channel or every time he tells me that um, a video is doing good and that people are seeing it and that they're liking it. I wanted to come back for New Year's and thank all of you for watching all my videos. Even when I haven't posted or shown up, how hard it was, how discouraged I've been. It's easy to just wake up and have a mic and have a ring light and have backdrops and have all these things and sit in front of a camera but it's so hard the real work comes in when you don't have all those things all you have is a dream and an idea and you do it thank you every time i see 
when I do manage to 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 get the courage to look and see how the channel is doing every time I see how much support I get from complete strangers. Like, I wish I could put into words how, how it makes me feel, but I just can't do that with anything nowadays. Like, I can't tell you guys exactly what's going on with me or what's happening, but what I can tell you is thank you. Thank you so, 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 so much. My channel has been going for a year. It's over the over a year now. It's not been a full two years, but. And I'm not where I thought I would be. But I'm grateful for where I am. And like, no matter what happens with me. My channel will always be there. And the love and the support. That I get from you guys. Is unmatched. I don't feel nearly as supported in real life as I do by you. As I do compared to the way I feel with you guys. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, but what I do know is that I'm I'm fighting and I'm trying. And I just wanted you guys to know that. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching my content. For hitting subscribe. For hitting like. Thank you so, so, so much. Like, I, I haven't given up and I'm not gone. But I hope this answered a lot of your questions. And if not, I promise I'll be back again. But I'm going to continue to post what I can and do what I can until I'm back 100%. But thank you guys so very much for the support. And I love you beyond words. Like I, I love and appreciate everybody who supports the channel and who, if you're telling other people about the channel, whatever you're doing, I support it. If all you're doing is watching my videos, just thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. And whenever, wherever my next video is. I'll see you in it.